Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 119 that I had to double check my notes. Uh, we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And apparently I need to uh, increase my caffeine intake because I just looked at that it was episode 119 on the rundown. Hit go, and I forgot already. Okay, coffee helps. There we go. We've been making our way around Dantooine. We found out that uh, Jedi are not highly regarded at the moment because people are blaming us for the Sith invasion. We've picked up a few different questicles along our way. I'd even show you them to you if I hit the right button. So we've got a bonus mission to search for atmospheric sensors that he swears uh, he needs and he's willing to offer a ton of credits. Broken or not. Hmm, that's not suspicious at all. Especially when my expert says they're not really needed for this place. Something's going to be up with those. We need to find the thief who keeps stealing equipment from his farm. He's pretty sure it's one of the salvagers. But he wants the thief to stop before it comes to bloodshed. He's not a violent man, but he will be if this keeps going. <laughs> And uh, we do have permission from the administrator to go into the Enclave Ruins, which is good. Uh, I hope to start that today. And we know that Master Vuk was here. He went to the, the sub-level and hasn't come back yet. I, I'm not sure if this is one of those consequences of doing things in the order that I did. Or if this is the way this is normally supposed to play out. Because a few episodes ago I mentioned that... Uh, in most of the guides, they had you doing this before you go save the palace and all the stuff that happened there. So I don't, I don't know how much what what we're going to see is going to be different because of that. But first and foremost, let us go spurlunking, shall we? Um, oh, mercenary ahead doesn't notice you. And he appears to be walking past the Kenorth unharmed. Well, how special for him. Hmm. All right. All right. Uh, well, he noticed me. Let's do that. Let's get our flurry on because so far these guys haven't been, they haven't been that hard. All right. Yeah, that was quick. Oh. Hey, the rubble appears to be lootable. Oh, look at that. Atmospheric sensors. I don't know about that. Uh, you don't know about what? The sensors? They are vitally important pieces of equipment on tectonically or environmentally unstable regions. But do you really need atmospheric sensors on Dantooine? Uh, ooh. I'll keep that in mind. I don't really care. Now, no, listen to your expert. Please, listen to your experts. All right. Uh, can you examine one of the sensors? I have this open in no time. <laughs> I hope so, because we're standing in the middle of the cave. Child's play. Inside the atmosphere sensor is a hidden surveillance device. No wonder he wants them so badly. Yeah. Huh. All right. So what are my options then? All right. Good work. Journal entry added. XP received. I guess... Oh, oh, that's right. Because once you max out your uh, influence with them, you can't gain any more. You can't get any past the maximum. All right. So, let's uh, make our way through here. Um... Uh, Let's see what's about to happen down this way. Hey. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dude, I just force jumped in front of a thing and whacked him with a lightsaber. What, uh, what part of that is sneaking around? Oh, and my compatriots are opening fire with some heavy duty blasters. Like, you shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Uh, good sir. 
nothing about what I am doing is sneaking. But I'll apologize. No worries, but what are you doing here? There are dangerous Kinnereth about. Yeah, <laughs> not so dangerous. Uh, surely you've heard of me. <laughs> I am an on junior, the famous Pertalunker. Uh, let's, uh, let's deflect and go. The Kinnereth don't attack you. Why is that? A trade secret. Okay. Uh, you'll tell me I'm an explorer. You can share. Uh, you'll tell me I'll slice you up and feed you to the Kinnereth in little pieces? No, let, let's go with uh, the regular Persuade. Well, I suppose I can tell a fellow explorer. I recently discovered that the Kinnereth discern friend from foe. Oh. An odor gland. Okay. Hmm. Burying the scent gland allows me and other mercenaries to avoid notice. Um, what do you know of the other mercenaries? Most of the mercenaries here are rather surly, but that happens any time there's significant downtime between jobs. Okay, that's fair. From what I've heard, we should be getting a... Oh. Oh, really? Funny that you're about to get another job after somebody got a message about me. Uh, why do they keep you out of the loop? Truth be told, I don't fit in well. Given special privileges. Oh. Wait. Uh, you mentioned crystals? Uh, some are warm to the touch, others are freezing. They seem to draw and contain energy. Oh. Oh. Huh. So we've got an awareness check that uh, he does have some small force potential. I wouldn't speak of the force. <laughs> Most of my mercenary brethren would assume you're a Jedi and try to collect a bounty. Uh, do you have an extra I could use? Sadly, I only have one gland, which I need to keep the Kinnereth from attacking. Okay. He could get another, but it takes several hours. Uh, you'll give me, I want to hold it, then I will kill you. No, no. Uh... Yes, I'm going to force persuade you to give me your only defense. Nah. Besides, these guys haven't been that tough. I'll be going then. All right. Watch. I don't need your stinky, stinking gland. <laughs> See? I don't need your stinky gland. Is that everybody there? That's everybody there. Okay. Hmm. Alright, yeah, we'll go this way. Something, something, something left his kitchen. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a chance to swing a saber at him. Okay. Alright, uh, we... Yeah, this looks like it's about to be something, something bad, so let's go ahead... And throw on a valor and a battle meditation. And then we'll walk into this. What's in the rubble? A Verpine prototype shield. Okay. Oh. I I was I was expecting something a little bit more. Uh Nobody's got anything lootable there. Uh, nobody had anything lootable here. Did I miss one? Because I, I, there's a special crystal I should be finding on this. That rubble's empty. All right, so there's another bit of rubble that might have what I'm looking for. And then there's another set of guys down that way. All right, so let's do this first. Tech specialist belt and a dueling shield. All right. I kind of hate that we wasted all those buffs, although force regen means that everything's back up to where it should be anyway, so... By the by... Uh, can't my... All right, he's got an immortality belt, which gives him a con bump 
and a bunch of resistances, which is nice. But what about the tech specialist belt? Dex and strength, and a whole bunch of skills. Although, demolitions, repair, security, treat, injury. Uh, awareness, computer use, demolitions, repair, security, treat, injury, dex, and strength. He's going to lose the bump to constitution, but he'll also lose the penalty to attack. Yeah, well, let's give him that. I mean, he's our tech specialist. I really want to give him that. Ooh. Fort and strength or skills. No, let's give him the skill system. That's going to come in handy later. And while we're at it, since everybody seems keen to level up, let's go ahead and do that too. Oh, uh, let's back that off and bump that up. Okay. And you get a level. And you get a level. Okay. There we go. All right. And since we did all that work, let's go ahead and let's save the game. Saving the game seems uh, smart. Especially since uh, I'm pretty sure we've got a bigger problem to deal with at somewhere in here. Ah! Aha! Maybe? I mean, I guess it can't kill me if it keeps getting knocked down. One of these is supposed to have some loot for me. Huh. Okay. Alright, then, uh, let's keep going this way, and then we'll double back. Ooh. Some more rubble. Rubble, rubble. What you got? Come on. Eh. Parts. Alright, are we at the main... Because basically what we're going to do is we're going to find the, the matriarch in charge of these critters. And that's supposed to be one of the two big things that happened. Okay, one of the three because the sensors was another one of them. Although, technically you could have ignored that quest. But I mean, who ignores quests? That's how you lose out on money and stuff. Alright, thermal detonator. Always useful. That must have been back... Yeah, okay. That's back where some of the other caves were. Because remember, these were some of the caves that you explored... Um, that you explored in the first Knights of the Old Republic. And it looks like they rearranged them and blamed it on blowing the cave to try to... Try to, uh... Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance. Like a shiver running through you. Well, not until you mention that. Force-sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the hmm. catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed yes, through Yes, he him, did. ...leaving a strong impression behind <laughs> in the crystals. You can find out about that in the first Knights of the Old Republic. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence. As if seeing our footprints... Our presence? Uh, he said the crystals absorb force. I feel strange but not weaker. I don't like the idea of leaving behind evidence. Tell me more about these crystals. The crystals here are infused with the force. Some could be harvested. And used for lightsabers. Okay. You said they absorb the force? The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. Uh, they collect the okay. excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the idea of leaving behind evidence. That can hardly be avoided. <laughs> Even mundane actions of the basest creatures can create detectable ripples in the force. Okay. A Minoc beating its wings on the plains could cause a sandstorm in the desert. Oh, we're going and with the butterfly the speaking, causing a hurricane thing. Bigger wings. Okay. Uh, what 
if I destroyed all the crystals here? That would create quite a large impression of yourself, and the crystals would eventually grow back. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Hi. All right, here we go. Then, uh, oh, no, 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 no. I want to do the guy in the lead. We'll do the force wave. We'll do a speed bump, a valor bump, and some meditation. And then we'll get ready to start flurrying stuff. Oh, I keep forgetting the droid doesn't benefit from most of these. Oop, I didn't mean to hit that more that many times. All right, flurry. Oh. We, uh... Are any of them alive? Nope, they're done. Alright, what remains of the remains? The Ultima Pearl. The Ultima Pearl, you say? Mm, damage, attack, massive criticals. Okay. And it's a focusing crystal. Huh. Well, okay. Uh, all right, is this... You gonna, you gonna stop bugging me about uh, inventory items that haven't been checked? I kind of wish there was a way to turn that on and off. No, of course not. All right. You killed the Kenareth Matriarch. This will hamper the Kenareth's ability to procreate, which should make the plane safer in the future. Tell the militia leader eh, to receive a reward. Ooh, nice. Oh, we got the speed bump now. Alright, so we got the empty remains. Um, crystal formation. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh, decisions. The last time... In the first nights of the Old Republic, when you destroyed the eggs, you got dark side points and a red crystal. But we're on... We're on a mission. The Anon Junior Crystal. Yeah. This response to you. This is very rare indeed. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I've greened a pet crystal. I hope I don't have to feed it. Uh, what does it mean? The crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the force, okay. the more powerful your crystal will grow. That's right. This... this will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Um... Is the bond dangerous? Quite the contrary. Okay. Picture yourself as a sib and the force as water pouring into you. This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. It gives a bunch of bonuses depending on whether you're light or dark. And the more you go in that direction, the better the bonuses, and the higher the level you are, the better the bonuses. And you can talk to Kriya and reattune it to yourself as you go. So in other words, you know, right now I'm level 30-something. When I get to level 40, I'm going to want to reattune it. Uh, I think it was level 40. I'll have to double-check the, uh, the the chart. But uh, that is something to remember. Let's, uh... So, does the crystal feed off the light side of the force? The crystal is in tune with you. Okay. It will use whatever yeah. water that pours That's through. just letting you know pretty much what I just said. Light. Okay. All right, so that was the one I wanted. Um, ooh, that is tempting. I don't, I don't want to break all the eggs, but I will take the crystal. Actually, I don't want to break any of the eggs because I'm worried that that's going to be another one of those dark side points. Because again, it's one of those things where you're, you know, something, something. Ooh, those are some nice crystals too. Uh, something, something, sanctity of life. 
That would appear to be all, all the crystal formations. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That would appear to be all the crystal formations. Um. Yeah. I'm not gonna break the eggs. I probably could. I. I'm. I deeply suspect that's going to be another path. You know what? Just, just for the sake of seeing, let me go ahead and save. I'll break one to see what it does, and then I'll probably end up restoring from the save. Let's go save the game. Save. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we have saved. Oops. Oh. Uh no. Still light side mastery. Oh. Uh, really? No dark side points, you say? Very curious. Very curious indeed. Uh, I guess that's because our primary objective was to prevent the Kenareth from uh, harming the Plainsman. Alright. Oh, unless this is unless this was a order of events thing where if we destroyed the eggs and then farm the crystals, then we would have gotten some dark side leaning crystals. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh yeah, I know. He, he was he really light side though. Was he really still light side? Ah, we're gonna run into some people. I should probably get my blasters out. Just so they don't mistake me for a Jedi. <laughs> huh. I guess I missed him the last time around? Because I thought I came through there already. Yeah, yeah, because I went up that way, and then back, and then right. And I'm just closing up the loop. And the mercenaries said there were other mercenaries, so I'm assuming I'm going to run into some more. Alright. Ta -da. Alright. Uh, nothing to loot. Nothing to loot. Sadness. Oh, come on, just search the rubble. Never mind. Take care of them. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, th this has been a fairly uh, easy set of fights. Ooh, poison grenade. Also known as parts. Alright, uh, nothing else back that way. We've got our little section here. What's in the rubble? An edge and a computer spike, you say? Alright. Uh, what's in the metal box? Uh, Exar Kun's light battle suit? Ooh, I thought I already had one of those. Did he have more than one made? He might have had more than one made. 
Okay. Okay. Another robe and some battle stimulants, always useful. Oh, I don't think we're going to... I think we're ahead of ourselves on this one. That This this looks like we're going to have to fetch somebody who's been here. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Let's head back and do a little bit of quest turn in. And then... And then we can head to the Enclave. Yeah. Let's go do a little quest turn in with the militia leader. And then we'll we'll go to the Enclave. Um, I'm not going to... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go to the, the main administrator instead of... Well, you know what? You'll see why I chose him in a minute, if this goes the way I think it does. I'll level him up in a little bit. I don't suppose <laughs> you found any of those... You don't suppose, you say. Um... Actually, I found three of them. That's great news. My offer still stands. I'll pay you 3,000 credits <laughs> for all of them. Not so fast. We found a little surprise inside of them. I was afraid of that. So, how do we do this, then? Why? <laughs> I'm sure Asgul will be interested to know that you're spying on them. Why? Let's, let's start with the more generic. Why is there more surveillance in there? We were picking up off-world transmissions between the mercenaries and... Okay. Someone we don't know who. We know that the mercs are up hmm. to something, we just don't know what. We set those atmospheric sensors up to gather information. Now you know why we need those sensors. I'll pay you 5,000 credits for all three of them. That's about all we can afford. You make money and help us out at the same time. Hmm. What do you say? Huh. <laughs> you need the credits more than me? Call it three. 5K sounds good. I think I'll hold on to them. Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, where was it that I wanted to... Mm -hmm. uh, let's just go with you need the credits more than me. <laughs> yeah, that's admirable of you. Thank you. I'll get this back to Zeron when I get back to Kunda. Okay. Alright, that's what I was looking for, is the light side points, to make sure I didn't... Because I knew there was a couple of dark side options. Alright. And... We got some XP, and we still got 3,000 credits. Alright, so that gets us... Compassion and mercy, only erode respect and power. Yeah. <laughs> I... Yeah, that's okay. I wasn't expecting to gain influence with you. I thought you were going to say something about the value of uh, those crystals. Or not the crystals, the uh, the sensors and how he was uh, asking an awful lot for them. But, uh, okay. Alright, let me do a quick level on Goto real quick. And then uh, a quick level real quick. Sorry. Alright, let's get those up. And there we go. Oh wait, no. Uh, I want... Is stealth up. I need more stealthy people, apparently. Let's level up. Let's get his attributes. His dex is through the roof. Let's go ahead and get him the wisdom so he gets a, another plus one. Although, I don't know. Wisdom doesn't affect him that much. Um, and then we'll figure out what to do with him later. And let's go repair, security, computer use, and stealth again. Okay. Beats. And the only one we can add to him is demolitions. We can't add stealth as a class skill for some reason, which is weird. Uh, I could give him the weapons focus, but he's got that droid module that gives him that feat automatically. So, really, it's just improved caution. 
which would give him the bump to stealth that we were looking for, or the master toughness. Uh, let's do the uh, improved caution, and then we'll bump up the master toughness, and then figure out what we're doing with them from there. Alright, same deal with the skills. Uh, oh. Oh, to get the bump to demolitions, I need at least one point there. Okay. Okay. Alright. And before I forget, let's go ahead and save. And since we've been at this a while, we're going to take a break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.